Welcome back! And if you're new here, my name is V. So I got a lot of comments from you guys from my 20 beauty hack video to do one about hair. And I thought it was such a great idea because I do have a lot of hair hacks that I personally use myself that I want to share with you today. So here it is, 20 hair hacks from me. <laughs> I like to brush my hair before taking a shower because when I wash my hair, I have a lot of shedding and a lot of fallout. So I find that whenever I brush my hair before going into the shower, I do not clog up the whole entire drain. And I appreciate that and also Chad appreciates that. I'm sure every, anybody who's using the same shower as you will appreciate an unclogged drain. So one of the most frequently asked questions about my hair that I get from you guys or my friends or just people that I know is how do I get my hair so poofy? So one of the key things that contribute to the volume of my hair is that I do not wash my hair every day. I actually wash it every three to four days. So when I used to wash my hair daily, I noticed that my hair was like really flat. And then I started doing it every other day and I always liked my second day hair. You guys probably heard of that before, like the second day hair always looks good. Right? So if you want to try this out, you have to do it slowly. You can't just go automatically straight from every day to three or four days. If you have fine, thin hair, you probably can only go about two to three days without shampooing it. And if you have color and treated hair, you can go three to four days. And if you have curly hair naturally, you can go up to five days. And that's just kind of like the standard um, suggested time. But again, it's up to you and how you train your hair. I like to use leave-in conditioners like this cream or sometimes a spray on my hair to prevent dry dead ends. So a personal hack that I use to do to protect my hair is that I use the no heat curling method to curl my hair. So the gentle curls you are seeing on me right now, I did not use a curling iron. I already did a video for this, so I'm gonna link it right here for you guys to check out, but don't do it right now, do it after this video, okay? So just a note, when you're watching that video, I have like big, really tight curls in that video, but this one is more loose, and the only method that I use differently is that I just curl, uh, or I just braid my hair a little loosely than I did in the video. Getting out of the shower after washing my hair, I usually dry my hair with a towel. So first, I'm going to show you what not to do. So you don't want to rub your hair with a towel like this. It's pretty bad for your hair because it's very damaging. So instead of doing that, I blot my hair with the towel to soak out the water. By doing this, you're not creating all this friction against your hair, which creates damage and frizz. And you should also use a microfiber towel. So when I get out of the shower after washing my hair, I do not brush my hair while it's wet. Always wait until it's completely dry to brush it because your hair is more likely to break and fall out while it's wet. And I do notice that whenever I do brush my hair while it's wet, I just get a ton of shedding. I look at the floor and there's just a pile of black hair on the floor and it just like hurts me. Like I've cried over it before because it was just, it, it's just like disheartening like and scary so I don't ever do that and I suggest you don't either when straightening your hair at a low temperature you usually have to go over your hair multiple times to get it really straight and this can be very damaging to your hair so what you should do is set your straightener to a high temperature so you only have to go over your hair once to get straight it's just generally faster anyways to have to go over your hair just once and not multiple times and you're not damaging your hair as much as doing it in low temperature. So another factor that contributes to like the volume of my hair is that I only condition the bottom third of my hair. So I noticed that whenever I condition my whole entire hair, it comes out flatter and I do not get this like natural volume that I have right now. So whenever I want that sleek, straight hairdo, that's when I condition the whole entire head. 
to prevent damage to your hair, try not using a blow dryer. I actually do not own a blow dryer and I towel dry my hair all the time. But I know that's not very realistic for all the women or all the girls out there. So if you do have to blow dry your hair, try using a heat protectant spray before you blow dry it. And if you can, get a blow dryer that has a cooling mode so you're using cool air rather than hot air. Have you ever cleaned your hair straightener before? And if you said no, you should because it just becomes less effective the next time you use it because of all the gunk that's on there. So I'm going to show you how I clean my hair straightener. Alright, so I have some rubbing alcohol in this bowl and I have a cotton pad here. You can use a cotton swab or a cotton ball. Um, so I'm going to dip a little bit of it in here and clean the plates. So once the plate is dry, get a clean towel and simply wipe all the alcohol away or just any remaining residue that you might have. So after towel drying my hair and wait for it to completely dry, I'm ready to brush my hair. And I first use a wide tooth comb to brush my hair first and then I use a fine tooth comb to brush my hair after that. So one of the easiest hacks to get volume in my hair is simply parting my hair the other way or just playing around with my hair and just swifting sides, you know? So I'm gonna demonstrate that right now. So here's my hair. I've, it's kind of been on this side for a while now. So if I wanted some instant volume, I just, you know, pull my hair on this side. And then I run my fingers underneath and just like really fluff it up. And then so it like just your hair, having your hair lay in a different side in a different part, it just creates that instant volume. And then you know run, I just run my fingers underneath to get that full effect. Ta-da! New found volume. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Hmm? Hmm? Whenever I'm about to curl or straighten my hair, I always use a heat protectant spray all over. I'm usually pretty careful about checking my hair if it's completely dry before curling or straightening it. When it's not completely dry, I can hear the sizzling sound that it makes when I put my straightener or curling iron on it and I just know that I'm frying my hair. So that's just no good and you do not want to do any damages to your hair that way. So when I do condition my hair, I put it in the lower one third of my hair only and I leave it in for two to three minutes and really let the moisture soak in. So after the two to three minutes of letting the conditioner really soak in, I apply shampoo to the two thirds part of my hair, lather it up, and then I lather the whole entire head so everything's get clean. And that's how I shampoo and condition my hair. So before going swimming, the best way to protect your hair from chlorine is to soak your hair completely or washing it with shampoo and then use conditioner. Because then your hair would absorb all the moisture from the conditioner itself rather than the chlorine from the water. Another personal hack that I do to create the volume in my hair, and I do this every single time after I wash my hair, is that I put my hair in a claw similar to this one. So right after I towel dry my hair, I put it up in like a half ponytail like this. And I take a claw. It's very simple and that's all I do. And when I feel my hair is about 90% dry, I let go of my claw and my hair is kind of stuck in this like upward position. So and then I just kind of Again, just kind of fluff my hair and it just creates that big natural full volume. To get a sleek updo, what I do is I use a seamless hair binder, a fine tooth comb, and hairspray. I spray it into my hand and I apply it directly into my hair before putting it into a ponytail. And then I use a fine tooth comb all over my hair and then carefully tie it into a ponytail. And then I spray my whole entire head one more time with the hairspray. So even with the sleek hairdo, I have a lot of baby hair, all the little tiny ones around me, and I really can't tame that with just 
hairspray and my fine tooth comb. So what I do is I go in with a, a toothbrush. This is a brand new toothbrush, by the way. Do not, I don't use the old one. So what I do is I spray hairspray onto this and then I just finely comb all the baby hair back like this. So this is even finer than the fine comb. So in between washing my hair, I like to use dry shampoo to keep my hair feeling fresh and clean. So I spray the dry shampoo all over my hair, then use my hands to rub it all over. And then this helps control the oil that I might have, and then it also adds volume. I do this right before bed, so when I wake up in the morning, I will have fresh, nice, clean hair. So sometimes my hair gets pretty frizzy and what I do to prevent that is I wear a beanie to bed. And you know I like looking like a thug right before I go to bed because if I have some bad dreams, I have the courage to fight back, you know? Okay, so you guys have to let me know in the comments which hack was your favorite. You know, say something like, my favorite hair hack is blank. So if you guys want to get to know me a little bit more, please subscribe to my channel so you can see more future videos from me, then we get to know each other a little bit better. But if you can't wait until the next video, you can always follow me on my social media for more daily updates. Thank you so much for watching my video, and I want to let you know that I do read every single comment in my videos, so I really look forward to hearing what is your favorite hair hack. So until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you soon. Bye!